Girl, if you feel like you've been working out for years and your body still stays the same, then this video is for you because I also feel the same way. I've been working out for two years now and when I look at my pictures, I look exactly the same and I need to know where the problem is. Hello guys, my name is Wanja Joy and I am a home workout creator. I make workout videos and then I post them here on YouTube. Duh. A lot of you guys do my workouts and thank you so much. The comments, I love them. The feedback that you guys give, such an amazing thing to see every single day. It just makes me I want to keep on putting out more workout videos. Do you know what I mean? Today's video topic sounds a bit weird because, well, coming from someone that works out, you should not be saying things like this. I feel like I would be stoned because what are you saying? It doesn't make sense, right? And it also doesn't make sense to me. Hi, I actually do work out at least three times a week. That is when I am like free, active. What am I saying? Like, you know, sometimes life happens and you go for a whole week without working out. You know, it's we live normal lives as well. So, but I try work out when I can. If I'm not working out even for like a week when I'm really busy, I work out at least twice a week. Also, my diet is very good. I don't think I eat carelessly. Of course, I have days when I don't eat according to the plan or whatever, but I know what I'm eating. It's healthy foods. It's less junk, it's less sugar. I'm trying to take in more protein than carbs and you know, all the fats, the fruits, the vegetables. I have water every single day. My mom and I do this thing when you wake up in the morning, you just like put water in a bottle and then during the whole day, you'll just be chunking that down. And generally, that's one of the best ways to make sure you drink water because a lot of the times if I don't do that, I'll forget and I'll not take water the whole. If you guys have watched the first video, my bulking up story, which goes on to explain, you know, about um, losing weight and, you know, slimming down your thighs and all of those things. So I just come off from that because when I had bulked up, my thighs were like uh, very, very big, around like 40, which was not ideal which was not what i was looking for okay go watch the video you understand everything i'm saying so it looks like when i started to slim down i've basically what i've been doing for the past two years looks like i was just maintaining that weight you would say so and i tend to agree with that because my workouts are kind of like the soft version which i don't regret actually because of that whole bulking up factor I don't regret that but it feels like okay maybe you should have trimmed a few more centimeters down you know what I mean like three years come on where have you been so I did start doing some research and I really wanted to find out what the problem might be and I found this big word which I have seen before but it was too scary for me to think I even had it and it is hormonal imbalances now from a layman point of view hormonal imbalances when your hormones are not balanced and I know there's a lot of hormones and by the way I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, those things, I'm not a naturopath, I'm just like an economics graduate but you know I have interest in these things and uh, you know working out, nutrition and I'm also doing my, I mean the process of getting my certificates in gym training so that you know just to up the skills of it. That besides the point, from a layman's perspective, hormonal imbalance is exactly that. Your hormones are not balanced. And as a woman, of course, you have a lot of hormones. There's hormones that affect your appetite, your sleep, excitement, all of these things, the adrenalines, the estrogens and the progesterones progesterones i know i will butcher that word for so many times in this video i just hope you uh, you understand english is not my first language okay so um well the one that mainly affects weight loss in most women is progesterone deficiency now 
that is a hormone which is produced by your ovaries and which helps you know in menstrual cycles and fertility there's two of them there's progesterone and there's estrogen yeah i hope i said those words right so yeah the two are produced by your ovaries and they help you know influence those two things your menstrual your menstrual cycle and your fertility now because a lot of us have progesterone deficiency we don't even know it because these are things that are not talked about often and so many people suffer from them if you have things like painful periods you know pmss uh, endometriosis which you know those are kind of like the long-term ones infertility which can be cured by balancing out the two hormones you have things like headaches migraines you just feel tired all the time and you don't understand why maybe it's because those two hormones are not balanced because they need to be balanced for you to function properly am i making sense i feel like i'm doing this too often okay so now just to get a bit technical on the two hormones the estrogen and the progesterone which we are saying that if you're having trouble losing weight maybe your estrogen levels are too high and your progesterone levels are too low so the two can't you can't balance out the estrogen so you you know you have difficulty losing weight because estrogen basically helps the body store fat it also works with things like also promotes fluid retention in your body there's also like depressions and headaches usually come from that mainly and then progesterone on the other side helps the body uh, burn fat for energy balancing out the sugars and the salts just making sure the fluids in your body are balanced out and also things like it's also an antidepressant so you don't have those depressions and headaches all the time so what we are saying here is this one is like negative negative and then this one is like positive positive and we have trouble because of this one and not because of this one is this becoming a singing class what is going on okay so now how can you try to bring your progesterone levels back or just produce a bit more progesterone or make your body produce a bit more there's things like um taking maca powder in a drink or something uh, every single day that would help there's also like natural supplements which help level out the hormones and uh, make your body produce more progesterone there's also things like um prevent eating I don't know not organic meat so like eating more organic foods meat especially white meat and red meat so you are able to balance out the two hormones just to make sure you follow it up with your naturopath with your doctor to help them to help you understand more on whether it might be hormonal imbalances and on whether it might be your progesterone levels are too low and your estrogen levels are too high because there's also other hormones which might be affecting you not losing weight so just try follow it up from there if you can do your own research do your own research try understand a bit more but i am sure that that is one of the biggest ones which we face and why we are not able to lose weight more and that is the sad end to this video i hope you girls learned something or you know you are reminded of something and you have like a light bulb and wow i might be having that so make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it and also make sure you subscribe because why not at the end of the day i would still appreciate um adding my subscribers because i love doing this and i hope to see you guys next time until then see